Well, I'm going to get you off the tripod here. And just in the interest of showing some of you guys that may have never seen a setup quite like this, this old, uh, this is how they were back in 1932. I'll show you that disc that I'm talking about. That's not exactly a, I don't know if you can see it. That's not a throw out bearing exactly, but this disc, this round ring here, sits on those three fingers on the pressure plate. Boy, I don't know if you can see that or not, but there we go. That little fiber disc I was showing you a minute ago presses up against this, so uh, it actually turns on that. So anyway, um, I think my clutch disc is okay. I'm going to get a good look at it, but really my problem is that pivot ball on the throat bearing arm. So that's how it works. Alrighty, see ya. Well, ain't this a revolting development? I was up on that ladder and I had pulled out my container that uh, holds a lot of old parts from this old truck from when I was building this thing and to where I keep everything that's anything to do with the old 32 Chevy. Throw it in that box and um, you know I turned to reach for something or turn to look at something or whatever and my little box fell off the shelf upside down in the floor you know it's a uh, it's really nice because this way I, I don't have to dig around and, and look for anything it's all it's all laid out here for me uh, this clutch plate lined with heavy-duty woven facings um, also ensures smoother engagement and longer life this is a, a, a new old stock clutch for this 32 Chevy yeah, it all makes sense now about how that thing was shifting and uh, this little bolt or little ball broke broke off, but uh, I want to show you something just a little thing of interest here. This is the original piece from this old truck. Look at the little Chevy bow tie on it. Not cool. See the replacement piece doesn't have that. But uh, huh, I think I'll go ahead and swap that out I don't know it doesn't have I mean it doesn't really there's not a whole lot more meat on this one than there is on that but a tiny bit you know I think I'll just do it because these are available I still get to see these on eBay every once in a while and uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that in all right the new one if you can see it up in there yeah there we go Oh, uh, and uh, something else pretty cool here I wanted to show you. Check out this uh, itty bitty little bow tie. About a half inch long. Original Chevrolet part. Probably original to the truck. Pretty cool, huh? This thing's full of, full of those little bow ties. There's even a little bow tie on the back side of this flange underneath the carburetor here on the other side is a little bow tie the same size on my original manifold there's a little bow tie a little GM and on this gasket right here underneath this carburetor there's a, even a bow tie on the gasket itself original G, uh, Chevrolet gasket for this truck big old drive line ain't it look at that the whopper 